The economy of Indonesia is a mixed economy with Dirigisti characteristics, and it is one of the emerging market economies in the world and the largest in Southeast Asia. As an upper middle income country and member of the G20, Indonesia is classified as a newly industrialized country. Estimated at 24 quadrillion rupiah in 2023, it is the 16th largest economy in the world by nominal GDP and the seventh largest in GDP purchasing power parity, PPP. Indonesia's internet economy reached $77 billion US in 2022 and is expected to cross a $130 billion US mark by 2025. Indonesia depends on the domestic market and government budget spending and its ownership of state-owned enterprises. The central government owns 141 enterprises. Today, Indonesia is the world's fourth most populous nation and the 10th largest economy in terms of purchasing power parity. Further, Indonesia has made enormous gains in poverty reduction, cutting the poverty rate by more than half since 1999 to under 10% in 2019 before the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Resources. Currently, Indonesia is the world's largest producer of nickel, second largest producer of tin, and fourth largest producer of bauxite. Indonesia owns an abundant natural resources critical to building an ecosystem for EV battery manufacturing. And it's not just all about natural resources. Indonesia's large population and rising wages have fueled growing purchasing power and buoyant consumer market too. Unlike most economies in the region, whose working age populations have already peaked or are close to peaking, Indonesia is still reaping demographic dividends. Indonesia has played a modest role in the world economy since the mid 20th century, and its importance has been considerably less than its size, resources, and geographic position would seem to warrant. The country is a major exporter of crude petroleum and natural gas. In addition, Indonesia is one of the world's main suppliers of rubber, coffee, cocoa, and palm oil. It also produces a wide range of other commodities, such as sugar, tea, tobacco, copra, and spices. Nearly all commodity production comes from large estates. Widespread exploration of deposits of oil and other minerals has resulted in several large-scale projects that have contributed substantially to general development funds. Economy of Indonesia. Although Indonesia has remained a major importer of manufactured goods, high technology, and technical skills since the early 1970s, the country's economic base has shifted from the primary sector to secondary and tertiary industries, manufacturing, trade, and services. Manufacturing surpassed agriculture in terms of contribution to gross domestic product, GDP, in the early 1990s, and has continued to be the largest single component of the country's economy. A significant portion of the national budget has continued to be allocated to agriculture. However, consequently, the country has remained self-sufficient in rice production since the mid-1980s. Indonesia's GDP growth is forecasted to average 5.1% per year from 2024 to 2026. The World Bank's Indonesian Economic Prospects Report said, despite headwinds from subsidized and commodity boom, increased volatility in food and energy prices, and rise in geopolitical uncertainty. Rising food prices lifted headline inflation this spring. Consumer prices rose 2.8% from a year earlier in May, up from a 2.6 year-over-year increase in January 2024. Adverse climate conditions reduced domestic rice harvests and affected food prices more broadly. Headline inflation is expected to average around 3% in 2024. In April 2024, Bank Indonesia raised its benchmark interest rate by a quarter percent point to 6.25%, the highest level since 2016. The rate hike came as central banks in advanced economies delayed anticipated policy rate cuts, triggering notable portfolio and other investment outflows and causing currency pressures in Indonesia and other emerging markets. The Bank of Indonesia is expected to begin cutting rates next year. A new report also highlights four emerging structural challenges. Rising concentration in the manufacturing sector, the slowdown in reducing regional income disparities, weaker wage growth, and rising inequalities since the COVID-19 pandemic, and limited geographic mobility of the labor force make it harder to match workers with jobs and locations 
that lead to improved living standards. Economic growth. Indonesia's economic growth in the first quarter beat expectations, buoyed by high public spending for the country's elections. But maintaining the strong pace will be challenging due to global developments and tight local monetary conditions. Southeast Asia's largest economy grew by 5.11% every year in the January through March period, the highest growth rate in three quarters. Growth exceeded the 5% rate expected by economists polled by Rutgers and the 5.04% achieved in the fourth quarter. In the first three months of 2024, Indonesia's economy has taken from declining commodity exports in the past year. The resource-rich country is the world's biggest exporter of thermal coal, palm oil, and nickel, among other commodities. Economy slowdown. Indonesia inflation in 2024 is projected to be around 2.6%, with challenges including volatility in food and fuel prices and potential disruptions in global supply chains affecting the prices of imported goods. The USD exchange rate against the rupiah's IDR continues to show an upward trend, primarily driven by the hawkish stance of the Fed in maintaining tight monetary policy. This stance has contributed to the depreciation of the rupiah, which hit its lowest level in the past 3.5 years at rupiah 16,249 versus USD in April 2024. In response, Bank Indonesia has set the BI rate at 6.25% to address a slowing global economic market and to anticipate higher Federal Reserve interest rates. Amid these economic challenges, Indonesia maintains a high employment rate of 69.80%, one of the highest among G20 economies, despite more than half of its workers being in the informal sector. The country has benefited from increased exports of smelted metal products due to downstream policies. However, there remains significant potential for further growth by expanding the range of high-tech products and maximizing their impact on employment, which could help bolster the economy in face of external financial pressures. The country struggled and faced a downturn in its economy in recent years. Can Indonesia be a rising star of Asia again? What do you think? How do we do? If we miss something, please say in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.